All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to take our boy Candy Vegito into the Patara stage of Category Super Battle World, and we're going to see how well our boy Candy Vegito can hold up. We got him first turn. Um, I'm probably going to put Tech Vegito Blue and Candy Vegito on a rotation together. Whew. I may... Okay, we don't have to use an item right here. Um, all right. So the one thing about Candy Vegito, um, he gets stronger defensively the more orbs he gets. His defense is pretty low. If we get very unlucky here, this could be pretty bad. But let me not start out the fight without, you know, going for it all, huh? And then I did bring um, AGL Super Vegito. He, of course, is going to be very good for damage reduction. All right, so we really need dodges here because I wasn't able to get a lot of orbs. Okay, so, so we're good so far. Uh, dodge, okay, okay. 70% chance to dodge. Whew! That's the way it goes with Candy Vegito. Candy Vegito is actually a very useful unit. This is what I was saying. Um, among, you know, the three Halloween uh, uh, free units, I, I actually like Candy Vegito the best. Um, I think the Kid Trunks and uh, the Kid Trunks Great Saiyan card is actually very, very good. But my personal favorite is, of course, Candy Vegito. So we had an exceptional first turn here. Look at Super Vegito, by the way. I I'm telling y'all right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do not be surprised when he becomes the best TUR in the game. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. So, I'm probably going to use an item here. Um, Now, with Gowasu and Zamasu, it is actually pretty important that we get a super attack with him because uh, we'll be able to seal. So, I'm going to go ahead and seal Fat Gotenks, I guess. Uh, Gowasu and Zamasu also dodge. Tech Vegito Blue would get hit pretty hard. I'm going to go ahead and use an Icarus here. Um, so the Icarus is going to stack with uh, AGL Zamasu's natural uh, damage reduction ability. And as you know, part of that, he's going to take virtually no damage. So Zamasu, even if he gets super attacked right here, is going to take uh, 10k, 20k. It it's going to be nothing. So Zamasu will completely tank. Uh, I I've... Lately, I've actually been warming up to Zamasu a little bit more. I feel like I was maybe too harsh on him. I do think Trunks is, like, definitely better. But I I've been too hard on Zamasu. Like, I I'm, like, giving him a bad name when that's not really fair. Um, I, I just do wish Zamasu had... If he had even, like, 40% defense on his passive or something like that, he would be just... So <laughs> he would be so stupid. Um, okay. Okay. This is great. So this is a much, much better turn right here because we're able to get a ton of orbs for Candy Vegito. So there, he's at 28k defense right there. Um, I, I guess I'll just super... I'll super... Huh. Fat Gotenks, I guess. Because um, we potentially could keep uh, Vegito from getting hit by him. Okay. Uh, oh, ah, damn. I, I wanted to check uh, what his defense was. I believe Candy Vegito is going to be up somewhere around like 70k defense or something like that probably about so he is going to get hit pretty hard um if he would get like super attacked and he did not dodge it but again we have a 70 percent chance from the dodge he does also raise his defense on super attack so remember you know as we get more supers with him his defense will be better and better and better okay dodge yep okay so that's not bad we do have an icarus active right so maybe he would have taken 35k 40k but uh, so he's taken what like 10 attacks in this fight and he's been hit once <laughs> that's what i like to see S pretty good so far uh by our boy candy vegeto okay um we would take absolutely excessive damage here if we do get super attacked but i think i'm gonna not use any items uh, and I will go ahead and seal uh, Fat Gotenks right here. Again, Gowasu and Zamasu are crazy. Okay. I had to expect that this was coming sooner or later. Um, we should be okay, though. Yeah, uh, we, we will be able to survive. No matter what, we should be able to survive here. Um, even if we get a second super attack. Uh, again, the Patara team has many units that are very, very good defensively. Uh, obviously, Fusion Zamasu should be okay as well. But, you know, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, because Fusion Zamasu has that damage reduction. So he would he would take way less on a super attack than Super Vegito did. Like, Zamasu, the way he's set up, like Zamasu or Super 17, 
they'll take a lot of damage from normal attacks, but they take uh, less damage from super attacks than units with, like, big defensive stats, right? Uh, oh, I mean, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so uh, he took 100k less than Super Vegito. Uh, all right, that, that was a bit unfortunate, but it's fine. Are we going to get a fusion? Oh, boy. Oh. Next turn, we're going to get a fusion. So, I'm going to do this because, like, there's no reason to heal. We're just going to heal back up to full. Next turn should be turn six, right? I believe so. So, okay. Let's go for Fat Gotenks to potentially uh, stun him. We do have Tech Vegito Blue on rotation now uh, with our boy Candy Vegito. So, the two of them should work pretty well together. We'll go ahead and get an attack with LR Vegito. So, I did have to use a, a near Shichi here just to be safe. Oh, we did get hit, too. Uh, yeah, I, like, I had to use an item there. Our health was too low, and I didn't want to actually heal with, like, a Princess Snake or an Android 8 or something like that, uh, because of the fact that, I, I, you know, a fusion. It, I was just recording a different video today when I was like, yeah, you'll never see, uh, fusion in Super Battle Road. And then I, I, like, I thought about it more, and I was like, wait a minute, that's not true. <laughs> Fusions do happen in Super Battle Road, actually. <laughs> like, um, especially against, the boss of this stage is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? And he has a, a ton of health. Um, and then there's also... Oh, we got the stun. I looked away. We got the stun, didn't we? I, I thought I saw he's stunned there. And then we get the fusion. There we go. Ah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Vegito-sama comes out in all of his glory. Are you... No, he's not stunned. Okay. Um, even though uh, we have type disadvantage, we probably want super attack right here. Uh, and we want Int Vegito to lead off for sure. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the active skill for Fuse Zamasu. So the, using this, this should guarantee Fuse Zamasu will be able to finish off um, Fat Gotenks there. Because um, this... Okay, so once you go to this form of Zamasu, he hits ridiculously hard. Like, he hits super hard. Like, without supports, without having like lots of links and stuff active, he just smacks... So that's, that's one thing that's really good about him. And it's like, because it is an active skill, like I do see the value in active skill transformations. Um, because of the fact that it's something you can choose, it's kind of like, like I could bust it out right here because I I, guarantee, I'm, I like could guarantee that Zamasu would finish him off. We're not even going to get to see Zamasu attack, but I knew for sure that if we made it all the way to Zamasu, Zamasu would without fail uh, finish him off. So it was safe for me to transform because you lose a lot of defense in the process. But he gains quite a bit of an attacking power. Um. Oh boy. <laughs> I would like to risk this. I really don't want to have to use another key though if I die from this. But like, I can't come into this fight and be like, all right, here we go. Uh, Candy Vegito is so good defensively. And then I'm like, well, I better use an item to be careful here. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's fine. Because um, Kenny Vegito is going to raise his defense right here anyway. Uh, and he's also not going to get hit again on this turn. Okay? Uh, <laughs> Kenny Vegito, please. <laughs> if Gotenks super attacks, I we might be done. Unless Vegito wants to get multiple supers to build his defense, we're probably going to be in big time trouble. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're okay. Well, Candy Vegito, that was a that was a rough turn. <laughs> uh, Candy Vegito, I'd appreciate some more touches next time, my boy. You know, a couple more touches would be great. That was pretty freaking scary. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Well, the good news is we do have Gogeta sealed. Um, on the turn where we don't have Candy Vegito up to where it's relevant, but you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, this is, I believe, going to be a Dokkan attack. Um. Yeah, I got. I have to use an item. Uh, we're gonna get a Dokkan attack right here. I think a Nurse Chi Chi probably will survive. Suffice. Nah, we don't need to go that far. An Icarus will be fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe so. The only thing is, if Gotenks wants to super attack Vegito, oh, that's not a Dokkan attack. 
Okay, uh, that's rough. I should have gotten that in orb on the left, and that would have gotten the Sudokan attack. I thought that was going to be one regardless. That kind of puts a, a, a monkey wrench in my plan, and I really don't want Gotenks to Super Vegito. That's going to hurt really bad. Well, I think we will survive, but again, it's, it's going to hurt big time. Uh, so hopefully Gotenks does not uh, super attack here. I've got the feeling that Gotenks is going to super attack, and it's going to be very close. Now, it'll... 200k? Okay. <laughs> I think it's going to do 200k. <laughs> Alright, so we are back. Um, this time should go a little bit better. Uh, you know, every once in a while in Super Battle Road, you get uh, kind of some wonky moments that'll happen. Um, okay, so I guess I'll just give this to Vegito. I probably don't need to use an item here, but I really don't want to die a second time. <laughs> uh, we should be good, because Gogeta alone, I don't think we'll be able to finish this off. And we are going to heal a very high amount of health um, by super attacking Gotenks like this. So this should work out in our favor fine enough. Boom, boom. Okay. All right. So let us see what will happen. Uh, we do have our rotation set, of course, of Candy Vegito and Tech Vegito Blue. Uh, you know, the two that I, I think, you know, th it is a pretty good offensive and defensive combo. I do like it a lot because, you know, kind of put Candy Vegito in that first spot, let him sort of soak up a lot of the attacks, and then, you know, kind of let Tech Vegito Blue build up in that second spot. It's just, you know, the thing with Tech Vegito Blue is I, I just can never get lucky with him. You know, it's just one super attack and then whatever else he does after that for me, whereas, you know, I... Other people, it's like, oh, Tech Vegito Blue, super number one, two, three, oh, four, crazy. And I'm just over here like, yeah, you know, I got my one super attack and some normals. You know how it is. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. What is Vegito's defense? 71k. AKA, not good enough. And I do actually want to do this right here. Because I do want to finish off Gotenks super fast before he has a chance to attack. Um, then, of course, I'll just do this. Just aim it on Gotenks just to make sure he's done. Uh, Gowasu and Zawasu cannot super attack. That's unfortunate. And I think I'm going to use an Icarus here just to be on the safe end. I don't really think I'll have too much to worry about with Gogeta. Because I can kind of keep him sealed uh, with Gowasu and Zawasu. Which does always help out a lot. So I'll probably try and keep them out. <laughs> Well, that's why I used an item right there. I mean, this is going to hurt big time. Oh, that's not that bad at all. I mean, I knew I had Nicarus active, but that's really not that bad. All right, so, you know, Gowasu and Zamasu being on rotation obviously helped. All right, one super attack. Can we at least get a second super attack? We definitely can. Nope. Nope. <laughs> one day, Tech Vegito Blue will show me why people love him. One day. One day, one day, one day. <laughs> One day he will bless your boy with that over... Oh, that's very helpful. Um, an additional super attack by Guasu and Zamasu right there seals Gogeta. So that is monstrous right there. Of course, that now means that uh, EGL Vegito on this next turn is going to completely counter everything. You know, get tons of damage off. Uh, remember that Zamasu does heal when you're damaged as well. So uh, Zamasu will be giving us a little bit of healing right there, which is going to be pretty nice. And, of course, you're aiming all over the place. Oh, we had him sealed. That would have been so good. Um, Considering the next turn... We'll do this. Considering that on the next turn against um, Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and I can't get a super attack right here. Okay, no big deal. Uh, against Gogeta, he is a tech enemy. I figure I'll just go ahead and float uh, Super Vegito off anyway. Uh, and then if, you know, if we get to... Zamasu next turn, which I think we will, uh, we'll be able to finish this guy off, Gogeta here, with uh, Zamasu's active skill transformation. Um, obviously, that's going to work out pretty good, so uh, I do want to see that. All right, not mm, decent enough damage. Uh, and then we can get the Vegito counters coming in. Uh, I think that's that's the thing. Like, if imagine if Tech Vegito Blue had counters too. Like, at that point, I probably like I, I'm not as crazy about counters as a lot of people are as well, just because. It, like, like, see, I, it would have been great to have start. What is this? This nonsense I have to deal with right here. Uh, I guess this is actually fine. This will hurt really bad, but I don't think uh, Vegito, LR Vegito at the end will let us down. Plus, we'll be able to get some healing. 
So even if Candy Vegito got super attacked right here, I, we would not die. Uh, Candy Vegito, ooh, I don't know, maybe we would have. 100k is a lot. <laughs> Uh, that was a lot. And we got another stun. Nice. And a 2 million attack set for Tech Vegito Blue. Very good. I mean, definitely pretty good for Super Battle Road. And then, you know, boom. So, uh, if we get this other additional, that, I mean, he did basically over a 3 million attack set and damage on this turn, which is very, very good. You know, even though those normal attacks uh, were only, you know, just 500k attack stats, like, if we had gotten crits on those normals, they would have done very, very good damage. So, um, I, I don't like to underrate normal attacks too much um what's funny is my attack vegeto blue does have basically full crit he's got well not full but he has 17 crit i believe so it would have been really nice uh that could have worked out a little bit better okay i'm gonna do this right here um yes because this this will allow me to super attack with goat swims masu bam uh i do not need to use an item here because no matter what do we have vegeto next turn no we don't have an imp vegeto next turn okay so i'll do this uh, no matter what, Gogeta can't kill us here because uh, if he would super attack Zamasu, obviously that would be bad, but we're, we'd be able to seal him before he could do that, right? And then this isn't going to be so bad, him supering LR Vegito. Obviously, they have type advantage. That's the interesting thing about this fight right here is, you know, they have you start off really difficulty here in the Patara category stage where you're going up against, uh, you know, the two physical type units, but then you end with the tech type unit, which is really, really good, but... It's also here where you do want to be careful with um, AGL Super Vegito. Um, but, you know, with Goasu and Zamasu keeping him stunned, we don't really have so much to worry about. Our health is going to be very low. Uh, Zamasu will not get us killed here, but... Man, okay. All right, because Goasu and Zamasu not dodging hurts a, a lot. All right, um, this is good. He is sealed. But it would be in my best interest, I think, to drop a Android 8 right here anyway. Um, you know, don't have to worry again about getting supered or anything, but an Android 8 will be good. Uh, I, I could have put AGL Super Vegito in that second slot, but uh, I do kind of want to keep this rotation going of Candy Vegito and Tech Vegito Blue. Uh, I'm going to like the two of them together, you know, against this Gogeta. Um, especially because... Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. That's exactly one reason why Candy Vegito is so good. And then defensively, he sets up Tech Vegito Blue to just super attack all day un uninterrupted. So, like, you know, now Vegito... Oh, oh, come on. He didn't even give me the, the second additional right there. Come on, Vegito. But we did. he did give us two super attacks, so let me not complain too much. Oh, this is so good. So now we can go ahead and keep the seal chain on him. And then, you know, potentially, if we get lucky... We're able to get a stun on him as well. So, th this is working pretty good. This is why these fights um, in some of these Super Battle Road stages where you're going up against just one enemy are not really that bad. Because if you could seal them or keep them stunned consistently, you're able to really, really maneuver through a lot of this. Um, okay, I really should try and keep uh, Super Vegito on one of these rotations because... Just the amount of damage he can rack up with those crit counters would be a lot. And I do have him with full <clears throat> full crits as well. Okay, so he's sealed, so I'm not really too concerned here. Uh, yeah, and Tech Vegito did get a couple of super attacks. He's under 50k defense defensively, but considering we can't be super attacked right here... Um, I don't think we're at risk of dying. I mean, if Candy Vegito gets super... Or he gets attacked five times, obviously that's really bad. But we should be okay here. Uh, I actually need Candy Vegito to, to, to give us some... Oh, the second edition would have been really nice. Because, remember, he does raise his defense on super attack. And that, that is a permanent stack throughout the fight as well. All right. Uh, same thing with Tech Vegito Blue. Um... You know, you want to give us some super attacks here. Multiple would be nice. Just like that. Very good. Very good. That will dramatically cut down the damage he's going to take. Because every super attack with him, he's building up his defense as well. And this attack is going to get pretty high by the end of this fight. Well, he's still taking 72. <laughs> Do we have an Android 8 active right now? No way. Their defense, I think, would have been way higher if we did have an Android 8. That would have been pathetic. There's no way. <laughs> Okay, um, so he's not sealed right here, so I definitely want to end with Vegito. Oh, man, but, hmm. 
Ah, it, it's it's essential that Gawasu and Zamasu super attack. That their their super attack is so much more important right here. Um, I don't think I have to worry about dying here either. Just as long as Gawasu and Zamasu can dodge at least one or two of those attacks, we're okay. I mean, if they get hit by all three, we're in trouble. And that's pretty... We might actually die. If we die here, I I'm probably just going to end the video. Um, you know, I've proven my point of how good Kenny Vegito is here. Uh, Gawasu and Zamasu can get us finished off, though, if they don't dodge enough. Because, you know, Gogeta supered at the beginning of the fight, or the beginning of the turn rather than the end. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> we got unlucky with Gawasu and Zamasu dodging. But we did see Kenny Vegito there. He is spectacular. Thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll catch you all next time.